sat in my house, just like going through your music. Mm. And then I don't know if this is a soundcloud picture or you did it, yeah. but there was a, a pic, like a, a cover art for like one of your like singles. Mm. And as the song like progressed, it moved. Yeah. And is that a, your feature? Or is nah, that's feature? SoundCloud, because you'll it? have your album cover, which is like a set thing. Mm. But the way SoundCloud works is like, it doesn't have the entire album cover to take up the whole thing. So it's like kind of loose. Right. Which I guess, but you took the now that you so said that, like now that you said that, it, like I, that wasn't even intentional. But now that you said that, it's a thing that like I'm actually realizing like you can actually play, use that to your advantage mm. and kind of make it a thing where it's like, ah, oh, if I'm gonna put this on SoundCloud, then it'll progress like this. But then you have to think if you're gonna do something like that, the average person really isn't paying that much attention to like appreciate that detail. Yeah. Like that's a thing that you kind of, because you were looking for something that like you were paying more attention than the other mm. person. Like other people just kind of want like something that's. But like there's people like me because I don't do that. I looked because of the interview, mm. but I do that for various different acts. Yeah. Just not for interviews, just because like music is a lot deeper than just the lyrics and the yeah, instrumental yeah, 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 and the production. Yeah, definitely, it's definitely. everything, like music is like a whole circle mm -hmm. and like all these factors give it like the angles. Yeah. It's like everything to do with it. It's like, I remember going to studio, come out, yeah. I was like 15, learning, trying to learn how to produce. I'm shit at producing. Yeah, yeah. But then I learned about writing and then I learned about how Zayna's and how there's like, yeah. Post production, then there's like cover art, then there's like all these other facts. It's like music is massive, but people don't look at it because people are so close minded. It's like, yeah, it's just music, instrumental, and that's it. I think it's because people, I feel like, all, to, all like of all time, it's kind of a thing where people. We have very short attention spans, and even artists themselves sometimes have short attention spans. Like, mm -hmm. you kind of want something, like, it's like a quick fix, like you want this now, and it's like, you kind of have to love something to actually go into it, but the average person, like, unless they, like, decide, yo, I actually love this person, I'm gonna go into it all, like, seeing what I can find out about it. Because, like, I've always done that, like, if I love someone, or, like, I really like an artist or something, I'm gonna start looking for the behind the scenes, blah, blah, blah. Even just random shit, like, I watch so much interviews, like, Trust so me. many, just, out of curiosity as to yo, how does this person talk? Like, I just want to know about this person. Like, it's a per like the way I think about it is like, uh, if there's certain artists, I'll be like, yo, I'd actually be friends with that person and just hang out with that person. Not like for anything, but I just like just hang out with them, just see what happens. Like, we can literally just kick it. Yeah, because you put me onto um, Earth Gang, innit? Yeah, yo, that was that. just a wild find for me. I'm not even gonna like, like yeah. you know how Colors just has all them stuff. Mm. So I literally found one, and it was literally just like, yo, these people just remind me so much of Outkast. This is crazy. And like, I just went into them, and I was like, yo, this is actually insane. You can see the influence of their music. Definitely, but that's the thing. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I, I can a, see not it. Not in a copy in America. No, 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 I can see it. I can see it. It's just a thing where it's like, it's not necessarily the sounds that are being, it's just kind of like the mindsets into things and like yeah. how they might dissect certain feelings or whatnot and kind of like speak on certain things. Like, because for me, like, Andre 3000, like, Pharrell and RW, like, the way they always did that was like the craziest thing to me because like, they're just going so left of everything that's happening now. And that's kind of like, even what we're talking about before the camera roll, like with the whole, we're always wearing shoes a certain way and style and whatnot. It was literally always kind of embracing differences. That's literally the only, like, cause I knew from day one, I, yo, I'm like, I, I, like, I kind of liked the fact that I was like the weird kid. Not the weird kid, cause I don't want to give that title to myself, but like, I didn't necessarily fit into, uh, you're, just, come far, you're just this one thing, like mm. I never did. And it's not even a thing where it's like, it was intentional, but it kind of wasn't as well. Cause if I was just being myself, I didn't. Like, it's literally a thing, if I intentionally wanted to fit into something, I could. Like, Kamal always says, like, yo, you're a chameleon. If you just want to, like, join into something and just be in that, yeah. I can do that, but I, I don't have But you were to chilling with, like, a man them at school. Like, the, I were a big group of them. Yeah, you were chilling with a big group because of Because my there. primary school, it's not even a... Mm -hmm. I, so growing up, I lived in Chapel Town, which is a multicultural area, but it's predominantly black in it. Yeah. So that's everyone that I'm hanging out with at home. Mm. So that's from the whole of my primary school. And then, but then my... Primary school, the primary school I went to wasn't in Chapter Town, it was actually next to Cardinal Heath and St. Urban's. Oh, yeah. And that's a bare white area, like that's a posh white area, so everyone that's there, it was literally like one or two black people, like black kids in that whole school, and the other one was Voyle. So like, me and Voyle were just mad cool, like from day one, because we're like, yo, we're the only black people, might as well be friends in it, blah, blah, blah. And our families became mad cool. So that was that. So I had like just these two worlds that I kind of existed in, one at home where it's like all this stuff, because I can fully break this down from like music, like all the music my sisters and my mum was listening to, stuff, gospel music. Usher, 50 Cent, all these guys, yeah, yeah. go to school, all these guys and listen to like, Kings of Leon, all this shit. Like, I'm just Tons like, yo, I would yeah. never hear this at home. Like, no one's ever playing this. So it's literally two worlds. So then just going to high school, it's like, yo, there's never, because all this stuff is kind of like, I'm familiar to all of it. It's not like anything's kind of alien to me. I know how I feel in all of it. And I'm like, I kind of want to hang out with you guys today. And I want to hang out with you guys today. Because there's certain conversations that I'll be like, there's no point in having a conversation with this. 
about this with this person, they're not gonna have anything to say on it, or that's not their lane. So it's kind of like not the same parents as me to be fair, because like we, I think we must go to the same house parties. Mm. We went to the same ones. It was like Roshin's house party, isn't it? I never went to any. I literally never went to a house party in, in so high school. So it was quite bad. But I, I heard about it and all this. I mean, one of those that I could have like gone to. I just didn't. Yeah, because my primary school was like mad like multicultural because mm-hmm. it was in Kirkstall, yeah. so people were coming from like barely yeah. it was like it, we had like white kids black kids asian kids everything yeah so then i grew up around like a multicultural environment mm-hmm. so there i was like meet people from all kind of backgrounds and then at home all my family are white mm-hmm. literally every single person's white but i used to go at house parties chilly people chilly yeah. areas which then influenced the way i speak the music i listen to and the food i eat as it should and all that and then it did all that but then for a long time I ain't gonna say the word, but I used to get called a certain word mm. because of the way I acted. Yeah. Which is a mad stupid fucking yes, word. but people are dumb. Ignorant. But <laughs> yes, then you kind of clock it and dumb. it's like, I don't actually care because yeah. I enjoy the culture that I feel I'm a part of because yeah. of the life I've had. Yeah. And it's like, at one point I had like, uh, what do you call it? A conflict of identity. Because I was like, who actually am I? Because yeah, yeah, I was yeah. like, I feel like I'm two separate people. Yeah, because you're told you have to be this as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah I and then I combined it and I went, fuck this. It went about, when I got to like college, I started fully understanding like, you know something? My identity doesn't have to be two separate things. It's both. Yeah. And that's when I released the documentary I've just done. That was the first piece of content that's seen the whole side of my personality. Yeah. That I've let my family see. Yeah. Because my family always got the, the white boy. Yeah. Because they were all white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the solid piece and I was always in my head before I saw the, when I sent them the link, I'm like, shit, they're gonna cuss me, they're gonna cuss me, and then they didn't. Yeah. And I was like, you know something? They were new though, that's the thing. They literally always, the thing with family is, these are the people that like, they're your family in it. So it's one of the, you could feel mad uncomfortable, but that's only because you feel uncomfortable with yourself. It's not even about like feeling uncomfortable amongst, it's just you're not feeling that confident and like comfortable in yourself that like you can fully be everything that you are with them. So, Cause it's like, it's like me, but like, I'm never gonna lie, like growing up cause I had like the, white side to me and the black side to me which mm. everyone always pointed out to me because if, if i tell you the one times i go to them Yo, you're black but you're not really black and i was just like what does that even mean because oh. i never got it in it it's just one of those and i come to find out it's purely just because like, i have interest that don't confirm to yeah to black. the stereotypes i was just like i, I don't really care like i would do all this shit. Like, because I'm gonna get that job. I'm, I'm, so, I'm, I'm, I'm saying my mind, I'm gonna get Because like, it's just a sick job that I just wanted to like, do at some point in it. So I applied for it, and the thing, you know, the application process in itself was like super interesting because they don't just ask basic questions. Like, one of the questions was like, if you had, if you were given 200K to do something that you want to do, what would you do? And like, use it, like, what would you use it? And, and like, I couldn't think of anything, like, because like, if I got that money, like, I wouldn't really, like, it doesn't really change what I'm, like, I'd still be doing what I do, but I guess the only thing I could do is like, host an exhibition or something we're in just a sick way that I want to do it mm-hmm. and then it was like alright if you got £10 to do the same thing how would you do it and I was like oh I'd still do it like I'd just figure out how to do it without having to spend all that money in it yeah, so yeah. that was another question and something else was like what interests you that doesn't interest other people and all that like they're asking weird questions in it but I was like alright I actually, this place seems interesting so I went for the interview and all this and I know why I didn't get it it's just like I didn't have um, they were kind of looking for more like entrepreneurs and that's not where my head is I guess because I'm not business minded like that yeah, yeah. I mean like you're either business it's kind of like you're either an artist that you're not and you're either a business minded person or yeah, not yeah. you know what I mean like you can have an interest in all this and you can do everything but it's kind of like at the end of the day it's like it's either something that you really really are or you're not in it it's like you can do it like nothing's stopping you but and the question they asked was like for my socials and stuff and I was like yeah but I don't like if I give you my socials like, I can give you them I got no problem with that but it's like this is just kind of like me just not doing anything like on it, it just kind of like the only thing I could really give him was like my Twitter or something when I still had Twitter. Mm. And Twitter, everyone knows just on it just to chat shit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't chat the most, but it's kind of like I'm still just chatting shit. Like it's not like, there's nothing that I was on it that would incriminate me in nothing. Mm. Like I'd be blessed. Like I, I'm not, I don't tweet no wild stuff like mm. that. But still, it's like nothing's happening. So I was thinking about it. I was like, right, yo. And I was talking because I remember someone messaged me a, a while ago and it's like, yo, you should advertise yourself more. Like you do all this stuff, whatever, but no one really knows about it. And I was like, yeah, that's true. But it's cause it's not really, I'm not doing it for other people. Mm. Like I'm really doing it for myself. And like, yeah, I should advertise that. I'm just kind of figuring out the best way of doing it in a way where I'm like, all right, this is sick. Like I'm doing it. So I've actually like been planning it all now. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm gonna post it this way, blah, 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 do this. All of this stuff, in it. 
So I was thinking about it and I was like, that's why I'm not that like, active on socials because if I'm not getting the work done in real life, there's no point in me being on social media. But have you not thought about the other way? Because the way I use social media, I do it so... Literally, when people follow me, mm. I, they think it's ridiculous. Because mm. all I do is take the piss out of everything. Like, I do that? Everything. Though? No, like, literally, the latest post I put on you, yeah, I had a cat song off my head, yeah, and call myself the nature boy. Because, like, I don't take myself serious at all. And yeah. I like the fact that people like, why well, do you post stuff? Like, I hear people going, oh, you post so much of yeah. this stuff. And I'm like, do you think in any way I care? But like, I don't care. That's the thing. That's why I just chat shit. Like, if on my stories, every so often I'll just post something where I'm just ranting about. Not even ranting, but I'm just talking about something that's oh, on the, my mind. The shit that Mario puts on his. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll just post something. I'm just like, yo, why is this so good? Like, I don't really care about it like that. But it's like, I feel like a post and a story post is different. Like, a story post, I can just do that all day. But if I'm spamming yeah. my feed with just nonsense, then it's like, I, when I do actually want to post something, this is going to be overlooked. I feel like it will be over... It's just a thing that I don't value. I get how important social media is nowadays, but it's a thing that it's like... I don't know, like, I didn't live on it growing up, so it's like... Yeah. I think it's, it's, a, it's a habit. It's, a, it's one of them things that it's like, if you've been doing something a certain way your whole life and it's working, it's like, why would you change it? Yeah, but saying that you don't post on social media, right? Your music gets mad views. Like, really? I, looked, enough, yeah. I, don't, I find that weird. You, you, know, you find it weird, but it's like... Like, I found it strange because I never see any promotions. Yeah. And I follow a lot of, like, your mutual friends, isn't it? Yeah. But we have mutual friends. So but that's what it them. is. It's more mutual. I think, you know what it is? I think, and not to bash on social media, but a thing that the rise of social media has have led to is people not knowing stuff in real life and people not knowing how to talk to people in yeah. real life. But that's it. Like, we'll literally go everywhere, just talk to anyone, and just talk to them with a like, oh, so what do you do and all this? And I don't even, I never introduce myself as a musician when someone asks, because I don't really, I guess I am, but it's like, I'm not, fulfilled with the music that I do and like I'm grateful for all the plays and like views and stuff that I get but it's like I'm not fulfilled completely by it because like there's so you much more that I want to do whole yeah, there's so much more that I want to do so that I'm like yo I'm not even anywhere close like yeah this was just an idea because I swear like the, I, I've started and cancelled so many projects within the past year like at least there was a, there was an idea to release a project like before September not this September coming but like last September I was like at the end of August I'll release a project blah, blah, blah. And I had like three hours worth of music that like no one will ever hear just because I was like, it's not. You're it. not content? No, it's like, it's good and stuff. And I like, I play for people and send it to them and they're like, yo, this is insane. Like, put this out and all this. And even to like be arrogant or nothing. But it's like, they're just like, yo, you just put this out. And I was like, nah, and I'm just like, I'll, I'll live like, I'm, I'm good with this just being for me. Because it's like, I don't want to do something unless I'm like, right, this is good. And even the ones where there's certain things I post and they're not crisp and I like it like that, like they're not perfected or polished and all this. Mm -hmm. and. They're, they're not like that for a certain reason. Like if there's a song I released called Demo and it was literally just because it was a demo, I was just like, yo, this is just an idea. I could do way better on this and like remix it, all of this, re-record a yeah, bunch of stuff on this, yeah. but I don't want it to be like that because it takes away from what this is for me because most, because at the end of the day, it's art in it. And like mm. the last thing I released, which was Flowing Streams, that was literally just, so I was kind of like in a hole, like a short hole, but it was kind of like, just because I was, I had taken on like a lot of projects to do like people ask me yo can you help me out with this brother and I was like yeah cool like and I'm still doing them all but it's just like for a second I, I looked at everything and I was like yo I have so much going on right now but am I losing myself in it or am I just doing a bunch of stuff just because I'm like yo if I get a bunch of stuff done this is a bunch of stuff I can say I've done mm -hmm. but if I'm not doing it to the best of my ability and not even to say I wasn't gonna I was gonna slack it or nothing but it's like I I think working with people is like it depends who you work with because you don't just work with anyone just for the sake of doing it and these people i was working with i'm still working with them and they're not just anyone they're all my friends like yeah. close family members that are, well people i can't call family because i'm a friend of family and shit but it's like i just looking at it, it's like i, I feel like something in me is like there's like the purity of like my expression is kind of like being dampened by just where my head is at right yeah, now yeah. so i need to take literally just i need to stop all of this not stop it completely because i just need to figure out a way of reapproaching this in a way where i'm nice with it and then like the whole idea behind flowing streams was that um it's kind of like i was thinking about it and i was like maybe we gotta go deep and stuff it's like wherever you water it's like like everything's like a garden it? it's like mm -hmm. where like all like plants in a way because like same as like plants life and all this but if you water it with like positive stuff then it's gonna it's like it's gonna give positivity out in it it's like if, if I'm here, yeah, and I'm never watering this plant, never giving it sunlight and all this, it's going to die quick. Mm. Like, it will live as long as it lives, but nothing's ever going to happen from it. Yeah. But then if, like, stuff like trees, yeah, it's like, they're there, they're planted, they're watered, all of this from, like, the rain and sun and all this. And then, like, in the long run, they give us oxygen and stuff, which is, like, you give it positivity and it gives it back. It's a thing that, like, 
it's also like a re I read a thing where it's like money speaks one language and it's like save me today and I'll save you tomorrow and it's one of those and I was like yo that's freaking hard so it's kind of like that was like in a weird way that's like a mantra behind it it's like I'm a what are all these things that I'm gonna keep as pure as possible in terms of expression I understand there's a business aspect that comes to art and stuff and it's a necessary if you want to live off your art then that's what it is but you just have to learn about it but in terms of the expression if the quality is not something that I'm pleased with then it's I'm never going to be fulfilled by what I'm doing. I'm just going to be here just doing a bunch of stuff that I'm like, yeah, it's cool. And then in the end, I'll just be unhappy with the shit I'm doing and not be pleased with it. So like Flowing Streams was like, I'll do this. And all of them were kind of like, it was literally done in one take. Like there was all a bunch of beats that I'd done. And like I'd recorded them when I did them and then like I'd saved them. And then at the end, it was literally just, I just put them all together. And I was like, yeah, these are just all pieces of the ideas like that I had when I did them and stuff. And it's literally one of those that's like, I did it. It's as pure as it can be. It's not 100% clean because I didn't mix it whatsoever. I literally just recorded. I didn't even record into a proper mic. I just recorded into the laptop mic that was there and it's like yeah. the default one and just did it like that. And then I was like, yo, this is it. That's all it needs to be. And that's what I want it to be. So that's that. So what? So the next thing that I do, whatever it will be, it will just make sure that it's like, I, I've, I've decided which direction I'm going in and it's going to be as pure as possible. It's going to be something that when I do it, because I have this weird thing, which is like, the way I'd validate my art is like through as personal and as intimate and as on as honest as it can be, basically. So whatever I'm talking about, you as mean honest it. as yeah, I'd have to say what I mean, otherwise it's not funny me saying. Yeah, because that's like just like integrity, isn't it? Yeah, it's that's the sole purpose of art. And literally, that so it's literally with anything, and it's not even just specific to music because I do like like I've been painting a lot recently, mm -hmm. but it's like I've been painting because like a lot of uni work and stuff. But then at the same time, it's like I did a piece on my barbers. Just because I've, I've had the same barber for like 13 years, isn't it? Oh, like Eddie, I've had that I'm sensation. I've literally mm. had the same barber for Eddie. And I was talking to him because I've, talk, I've talked to him about like literally everything because he's seen me go up. And he literally said this like, there was one time I talked to him that long. I was like, yo, I've been cutting your hair for like 12 years now. That's mad, isn't it? And I was like, yo, that's actually crazy. So I was talking to him and I was like, you know what? Yeah, I actually want to do a piece for this place because it's like a place that's like, that's a personal place to me. It's not like an intimate place and all this place. It's just a part of who I am because like I've been going for so long. It's part of me. If that makes sense, so it's yeah. like I'm gonna get this out and try and do a piece. Try and do a piece which like captures the vibe of this place. It's like as abstract as this place is, but as like beautiful as it is. I'm trying to get that all in a piece and try and just represent whatever I'm feeling or whatever it is in that as best as I can. So that's kind of like that's like long winded explanation of what flowing streams was in it. And it's just mm. kind of like the footing that like I've decided. Like it was like um not exactly an awakening. It was just kind of like me realizing something that was always there. A euphoric moment. Yeah, it was just kind of like, yo, I should really should have. Like, I've been doing this all along, but now it's like, all right, I've given it a definition that's working right now. And instead of, this is the direction I'm going to go in right now as I'm this person. Yeah. Wherever I am next, like, wherever I go into next, I'll go, I'll figure so out like the direction. Growth, yeah, I'll figure out the direction for that and go in that. It's like, way, it's one of them. Like, when I, I started listening to a lot of music like a few days beforehand. Like taking, I heard bits and bats like the mm. the future project. Yeah, I heard that, but like when I started to take music in, it was like your brand identity yeah. is the fact that it's so raw, yeah. it's so unique to you because yeah. people who don't get it, and oh, that's not high quality music. So yeah. why would I listen to it? But it's like, well, it's not meant for you. Yeah, it's meant for people that understand the purity of art because it, music is a form of art. So if you actually look at it like that, it's all about personal expression mm -hmm. and the w it's all up for like consumption and yeah. the way you conceive it because if I painted a picture and then you didn't like it because it didn't look like I don't know yeah, like yeah, yeah, a yeah. certain artist but other people understood the meaning and everything behind it mm -hmm. that's it and that's what I got and I was like you know what Summit? I understand that completely because I I know for facts I wouldn't listen to your music at a shop yeah. but I listen to your music like sat in my garden yeah. with the sun out, just taking in kind of like knowledge. And that was like the vibe I was on. Cause it was like, it gave me a sense of like tranquility because it was so much yeah. more like, it, it was like being in someone else's brain for a second because everything you're doing, it's like a thought process. It was like, for once I'm not in my brain yeah. and I'm not thinking about everything that I've got to think about. I'm taking in someone else's things and yeah. try getting to understand them as a person. Cause you shed a lot of like, how you like feel Mm. and how you like think in your music yeah. you're not giving away intricate details but you can see the thought process in yeah. like everything that goes on in your music and it's like fuck like listen to someone else it's like your mind starts to go blank and you forget all that other bullshit that you are mm. thinking about that's yeah, bothering yeah. you and you, you just start taking in this character that you've allowed people to see you as because that isn't all of you yeah but it's an integral part of you yeah 
And I rate that. Well, thank it's you, thank you. That's something I'm very proud of. It's like the idea behind it is like it's thought out in the sense of what do I kind of want people to get from this? It's like all my music, I literally from the day, like my entire life when I've made art, it's like I've had this uh, this thought that I just bear in mind with all of it. And it's kind of like, I want it to be personal. What I want it to be is specific to a certain thing, but also relatable. So it's like specific, but it's also universal. So it's like, I'm speaking on this for me, but I know other people relate to it. And it's a thing that is like, I'll speak on it from my perspective and use my example as it and use what I'm feeling as an example. However, I also know other people feel this. And it's just, it's kind of like having conversations. It's just like, if we can both like have a conversation, but I'm kind of like, y'all listen to me and it's just like making you think and you're having a conversation with yourself, then I feel like I've done my job as an artist. Cause I feel like the art of the world and I feel like this with every single thing that's done, it's not even for you, it's kind of like for the world. Like if it's done, then it's kind of for the world, which, Sounds kind of contradictory for me to like say that I keep a lot of my music to myself and like a lot of the paintings and like photographs I take and stuff to myself. But it's just kind of like the only reason I do that is because like I'm, I'm just I'm just aware of how much words I'm, I'm just aware I'm just aware of the weight that words have. If that makes yeah. sense, because words are not. That's why Twitter is so of like. Yeah, like that's why I had to hop up. That's literally why I had to hop Because people say some stuff as if. Bro, but I say some stuff on there. Yeah, but we all say stuff, but no, it's just one of those that it's, it's like. Mad. There was a day I was literally just sat in there and I was like, yo, I've been scrolling for so long and no one said anything. A value. Like, Nothing no of value, but they've said so much. You've been talking and all this, but no one has said a single thing that I've been like, yo, you know what? That's actually. That's actually something that means something. It all means something, but it doesn't to when people. Like, words just lose meaning and I can't. I can't I, I decided I just don't want to be a part of that specific. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna act like I don't chat shit. I chat shit all the time. No, no, yeah, but you chat shit in a, in a normal environment. It's like, publicly, like, I've got a blog in it and I've written over 100 articles, yeah. but I can only think of like three that mm. I have value of. The rest are just superficial pieces so I can show potential players. Yeah, it's literally a lot of the stuff that we do. At the end of the day, you can't keep anything 100% pure in it. Yeah. It's like, there's gonna be an aspect of it because once you start working for it, now you're being, there's a purity is still there because you're being paid for your work because now you're not doing it for passion, you're actually doing it because I need to get paid first. That's why you're gonna start picking jobs and all this. But you can still keep it as real as possible mm. to you. If that mean, like, you just have to figure out your way of navigating through all this stuff. And it's just one of those that's like, man, I just, re that's why I like all my pieces, literally everything. That's why I'm, I'm better thinking, like, I really wanna do like something. It's like I have this like really big ideas of how to do them. It's just like, how do I get them done? And it's like, there's so much that I want to do. And I know it's a thing that's like, this is not going to be a thing that's like, oh, it's going to be top 40 hit or whatever, blah, blah, blah. That's not, I'm not going for that whatsoever. I'm actually, I'm trying to create art, yeah, that when I'm done with all this stuff, then I can be like, yo, if I look back, then I'm actually satisfied. You'll create a cult following, I feel. Y'all like- Shelly was saying something like that. Yeah, he was like, I remember I was talking to him. I think it's when I did Outcasts and I was doing the draft of it and I was writing it and I, I, did, I did the first verse and it wasn't even finished, like I just recorded drafts. Like anytime I write something, I record a draft and then I'm like, I'll just do it and I'll, I'll send it. Like if I want someone else's opinion, I'll send it to him. Mm -hmm. So I did it, I sent it to him, I was like, yo, what do you think I should do for the second verse? I've got this, I've got the hook, I've got the verse and I've got the bridge. What do you think I should do for the second verse? He was like, and he didn't even talk about it, he didn't tell me what I should do. I was like, well, thanks. But he was like, and now that I'm listening to it, it's kind of like, it's a thing that's like, you're not exactly gonna go for all these followers but it's kind of like, you're gonna get a weird cult following that's like, but it's kind of gonna be like a family type of thing where it's not just random people. It's like, well, I'd be such a dickhead, yeah, if I didn't rate the five supporters that I have. Not to say I have five supporters, but say if I had five supporters and I was like, I want 500, I'd be like such a dickhead if I was thinking about these 500 as opposed to these five that are actually like there. Ride for your kind yeah, of Yeah, like they're ride for me and all this, but then it's like these 500, they could come, yeah, they could show all, you know, I'm getting plays on my stuff and whatnot, but they don't actually mean. They don't come to your shows, they won't yeah, buy your, they don't actually, your art kind of thing. They're not thing. interested in none of that. It's just one of those that's it's just because like, you've got the following. It's like people are, I feel like people are attracted to music no more. Yeah. Not all the time. I think people are attracted to trends, as we were talking about earlier. Yeah. Because say like some like top artist in the UK rap scene now, mm. right? He'll get more followers because he's big. Yeah. But when he was on the come up, People weren't shouting him because yeah. he wasn't big. He wasn't, wasn't. likable because he didn't have 
that uh, brand association. Yeah, yeah, and it's yeah, like, yeah. That's fickle. But so you know what? That's it. another thing that I've been thinking about a lot. Like people are now becoming brands more so than people. Yeah. Because I feel like now it's kind of like, I, if you're doing something, it needs to adhere to your brand as opposed to you as a person. People need space to make mistakes and grow. Like if we're here and we have to stick within these strict parameters of, yo, there's this brand, I actually can't do this. But I genuinely feel like this, but I can't do this. Mm. You, I feel like you're selling yourself right in order because yeah. like, you're not being true to yourself. Like you need to speak a truth. Like it's not, gonna, it's, not gonna be, it's not gonna be perfect, but you need to accept that like, you're still your truth and it's one of yeah. those, why are you gonna be out here just lying to yourself? Like the last person, you, yeah. the last person you need to lie to yourself is yourself because at the end of the day, you're living with them. Like Trust you literally live with your lies. You gotta like, live with that there. There's no point in lying to because it's just like, yo. It never leaves, innit? Because you'll be, you be in bed, you yeah. You can go to sleep. You'll be there, oh, I've been in Bali. Boom. Yeah. You're in the middle of Bali. Cochin, you got a. You still think about like, this. There's just, just, just this thing it's that's there. just there. It's Doing just like, this. You can't escape like, it, man. Because you said that. you spoke it to yourself. Because you've done it, and then your brain's going, you know something? You're a dickhead, you know? Literally, I can't. I could not live with that. I could not live with knowing that I'm a dickhead. Yeah. Like, everything I do, I have to do and be true to me, otherwise. I have to be happy with my decision. Not happy, but I need to be comfortable with my decision. Like I need to be like, if I do this, I might not be happy with what I've done, but if I'm comfortable and I can be at peace with myself, then I'm Because at least you're in another place that you've chosen. If you've chosen the place you're going towards, then that means you're in control of your life. Because I want to be in control of it and as opposed to letting someone else just like, yo, do this. Because if I'm just like, yo, someone's just like, yo, do this, do this, then I I don't even know what I'm doing. Because I'm just going to deep it one day and be like, yo, how the hell did I get here? Like, I genuinely don't know what happened. Like, You I'm don't understand here. why you're here or what yeah, your values like, are anymore. Yeah, like, this is kind of crazy to me. It's an identity crisis. This is the biggest thing, and this is one of, like, the biggest things that had affected my mental health, is if mm. I had an identity crisis, I was doing all of this work mm. that I was passionate about before, but now I've let some random person, a random collective, influence what I'm doing, make it their content that I'm releasing. Yeah. Because Poet said something, he was like, I don't want to be an influencer because I don't want to work for a brand. I want to work in partnerships with brands to create things that I enjoy. Yeah. And that's what I'd like to do. Because yeah. then that way you're still true to you, but you're also getting the following, the lifestyle you wish, but also keeping in the back of your mind that your identity is still yeah. there. No, for definite. I like I feel like identity isn't just necessarily one thing. It's one thing in the sense that it's you, but other than that, like you're so much more than just one thing at a time like you can be all these things because at the end of the day you have to think life is so like when you live a life of such and you've had so many diverse influences it's kind of like for you to just live by one single thing i you're doing you're not doing it just as like all this stuff it's kind of like i've been thinking about this a lot like it's kind of like a collage and like sampling and stuff because like you have all these diverse influences and stuff and it's like how do you make and live in a universal way, but still as personal as possible, and like just do stuff right by you and all these other people. Because life, I was talking to someone about it. life isn't, it's hard, but it's not that hard. It's only hard when you're not doing stuff that, yeah, it's hard because you have to work hard. That's where the hard work comes from. Mm-hmm. Like, but other than that, it's, it's, you just make it more hard if you're not doing stuff that's right by you, or that you don't feel comfortable with, or you're not living how you feel you need to be living. It's not even necessarily about, oh, I need to be doing all this to go against all of this. You literally just need to do right by yourself. Because then you're living for you in it. It's like, if you're doing all this stuff, like, yo, my mum wants me to do this. Yeah, cool, you can do it and shit. But then the she's going to, if she dies before you, what then? Like, yeah. you just, it's like. Fam, you took that dark, you know. No, I, no, I, I didn't mean to, yeah, but it's one of those <laughs> that's like. Bit mad, you know? No, but I'm just saying, think about it. Some people do, like, stuff that they're like, yo, I'm going to do this. Just so that my mom doesn't beef me. And yeah, that's true. Sometimes you need to do stuff just so that your parents don't beef you in it because parents beef is long. freaking long. Like, it's genuine, just long. However, at the end of the day, if you don't do something ultimate, like, as a whole, that you want to do, you're just going to look at one day. I feel like you might just look at one day and just feel like, yo, I never wanted to do this. Mm. That's if it goes people, against the grain of my soul, I'm not doing it. That's how people end up doing freaking Eat, Pray, Love, like Julia Robert and stuff when they have to go do all this traveling. Nah, man, I ain't trying to do that. Nah, fuck that. No, it's all about being true to yourself. I'm just going to find myself in my 50s. I'm not trying to do that, bro. That's long. (laughs) I lived 50 years and I didn't know who I was. That's long. That's long. Literally, you've got all of that life that you don't even rate. Imagine Mm. not rating your own life. Man, that is the maddest complex ever. I watched that film recently and that mad in my head because she was in this marriage. She had this house and all this and she never wanted it. She was like, I think I wanted it, but I didn't. And now I want to go whack someone in a different country. This is love. I was like, yo, imagine. Nah, that's too mm-hmm. much. I don't want to do it. And it's not even the fact that it's hard work. I'm just like, I don't want to do that to begin with. It's like people that work in offices, though. Like, when you see the people that got the same shitty job, yeah. yeah. And they, they come and chat to me because I'll have bridges that do the same I job. I feel like people just. Yeah. 
sometimes people just don't want to work hard. They're not committed enough to what they say they want. Yeah. Like they, because if you are that committed, no matter what comes in your way, you're gonna do you're it. You're gonna fam. find a way to do it. Like it's literally that. It's like you will just literally you figure out a way to. It's no like matter how long somewhere. it takes, you you make it happen. But if you just decide one day, well, I don't want to do this anymore. I just can't bother. I'm so tired when I come from work and all this. Yo, if that if that work that you're doing is not fulfilling you, and you know something else will. When you finish that work, you should come home and work yeah. on the stuff that, like, bit by bit. I was talking to my cousin about this, and he was like, yo, it's like this. I don't know what question I asked him, but he was like, yo, it's like this. Say you're working on a big painting, and you know, I can't finish it all today, and I'm going to be mad busy over this, these next few, because I have to work, I have to do all this, blah, 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 stuff. But if I do one brush stroke a day, eventually we'll get there and we'll be done in it. Yeah, and yeah. I was literally just thinking, I was like, yo, that's literally the weirdest. That was the premise about this interview. Bit by bit, innit? Yeah. Mickey shouted me, yeah. And I'm like, fam, I've got a placement, I'm doing nine five at, mm. and I'm working on the weekends, so I need to make bread. Mm. But then I clocked, right, it's Friday, Monday, Tuesday, I'm not a placement because yeah. of like, I don't know, some bullshit, like mm. holiday, yeah? Yeah, yeah? So I'm like, one of these days I can do. Mm. Find if these days are calm, I'm there. And then we're here. Yeah. So it's like, I could have this day off and piss it about and go to the pub. Mm. But then it's like, this is something I wanted to do. This is yeah. something Mickey wanted to do. This is something you wanted to do. So it's like, this like creative, like, vision that every three yeah. of us had it's like why fucking waste it yeah do nothing it's like we can actually do this and right create now. something right now yeah, it's like yeah, we're yeah, in yeah. the present we have the opportunity to make content so if we don't make it because this conversation would never be the same if we did it tomorrow or yesterday because we're in Yo, different mindsets th- thank you for saying that there's so many people that don't understand that and i find that crazy it's mad but like, you can you have see, the same yeah it's literally now you're feeling a certain way right now you yeah. might feel the same way tomorrow but you might not yeah. like and you might yeah. It's things that line up in, uh, you know what it's like? It's like, you know that picture of the black hole that's been going around recently? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the way that happened was like, it could never happen unless everything lined up on a certain day and they just did it at that exact moment. Mm. And, and it did. It's like, everything's kind of like that. It's like, all this stuff lines up and it's like, you could either be like, yo, you know what, I'm gonna do it now. But it's just one of those that it's like, some, I get people feel tired, like, I get it. I feel so tired most of the time, but I'm just like, yo. You felt tired doing? every time you were at work, fam? Man, because I was always busy doing stuff outside of it. It's literally that. Like, we'd literally, like, and I hate, uh, I hate going to, like, the studio, like, late at night. And these guys love it. Like, they live yeah, for Kamal goes at, like, 5 a.m., Man, they live for Like, I like my days to actually end at a certain I'm time. the guy who never sleeps. Yeah, like, like it's, he's always just bumming about in his whip. It's sick, I'm not going to lie. It's, like, it's, it's a motive. banging for him, but, but it's I'm like, just, well, like, I can't like, why are you always, like, I can't do it. Like, when he came to the regional, mm. like, I'm outside having a cig, yeah? And then I hear his, yo, and I'm like, he's that fam. And then it's just him bumming about in some track with Elijah, yeah. and I'm like, and I'm drunk. Mm. Like drunk as a skunk right now, yeah. fam. So I'm like, yo, I got the happy mode, didn't it? Mm. I was chatting for more shit, like, yo, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, fam. What you do, da 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 da. And I, I don't remember, mm. but like, it just pumps about. But then they be like, here you go now. Oh, I gotta go do this event here. Then I gotta go like listen to this on his project. Yeah. Then I gotta I go help that, this man. I love that he's he's working hard. He's just he fam. My mom loves him, you know. Because obviously, like, my mum loves Kamal. Kamal's like. Mums love Kamal, innit? Yeah, because Kamal Kamal's the, the good boy that went to uni and gets good grades, mm-hmm. but he's also successful yeah, and creative. Works he works hard. You know what like I mean? He's, he's just he's, one of them, man. But he's headstrong, like, he's focused. When he says he's doing something, he's doing Ignite your soul, you know the world needs your fuego I don't even wanna be in the same boat All these basic people trying to sing me, I'm gonna flow I don't even care about all those pesos As well to be in me, I'm living and I'm gonna lay low See, I've been laying low, been moving solo since I was born Being focused and I'm setting goals Determination, this the life I chose The vivid colors on the palace satisfy me more than snow